Hello, welcome back to class. There's going to be a lot of parts of this lesson that we're going to repeat from yesterday, just until we get really good at it. We're going to count again to 100 using tally marks. Everyone get your pencil or your marker ready. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, don't forget to cross over when you get to 5, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, almost there, keep going, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Nice job. Now we have these in groups of five. So we're going to count by fives all the way to 100. I'm going to point to each group of five. Count with me as we go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Nice job, everybody. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to count by tens all the way up to 100. You can either count out loud or you can write them as I write them. Here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Let's count that all together again. You ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Nice job. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to count backward to 20, from 20 until 0. We're doing that because that's going to help us with our subtraction. So I'm going to write the numbers on the board, okay? You can write them on your board also as we write them. Here we go. From 20 all the way down to 0. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Let's count that all one more time. You ready? 20, 
19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Nice job, everybody. You're doing such a great job. Now, yesterday, we learned how to make a 1 with touch points. We would draw 1, and we'd put a little dot on top. And when we touch it, we would say 1. Well, today, we're going to continue to learn how to add and subtract with touch points, but the next number we're going to do today is going to be 2. When you put points on a 2, you put 1 at the top end and 1 at the bottom end. Now, sometimes when kids make a 2, they may make it backwards. We don't want it backwards. Sometimes kids start from the bottom and they try and make it like a S, but we don't want to start from the bottom. When you write your 2, you always want to start at the top. And you're going to make a hill, slant, and a cross. Try that one more time. Go ahead and draw a number two on your paper or your board. Okay? So today, what we're going to do is we're going to practice the touch points on a two. So just like we did yesterday, I'm going to draw two and put the touch points. One, two. I'm going to see how many I can do in a minute. While I draw mine, I'd like you to fill your board or your paper up with as many twos as you can. And as you do it, I'd, I'd like you to say the number. One, two. Because that way your brain will start to remember where to touch on a two when we add and subtract. On your mark, get set, go. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Keep going till you hear the buzzer. One, two. 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 Oh, time's up. Let's count how many I made. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I made sixteen of them. How many did you make? Now as you are drawing yours, make sure that you're saying one, two, because we want your brain to memorize this. Your brain's going to memorize it because you're drawing it with your hand, you're seeing it with your eyes, and you're saying it with your mouth. One, two. And then your ears hear you say it. So all of that helps your brain remember. Go ahead and clear your board. What we're going to do is we're going to practice this just like we did yesterday with adding and subtracting. So I'd like you to write on your board four plus two equals. Remember, when we go to add, we're going to circle the big number. Which one's bigger, 4 or 2? 4 is the bigger number, so we're going to circle 4. We're going to put our dots, 1, 2. We're going to touch and say 4, and then we're going to count on the 2. 4, 5, 6. Our answer is 6.
here's our next one. 7 plus 2. Go ahead and try that one all on your own. You're going to circle the big number 7. You're going to put the dots on the 2. When you touch it, say 7, 8, 9. Our answer is 9. The next one we're going to do is 9 plus 2 equals. Go ahead and try that one on your own. You're going to circle the big number, which is 9, and put your dots on the 2, 9, 10, 11. Nice job. Go ahead and clear your board. A lot of times kids have questions when a problem looks a little different. The first example is 2 plus 2. What do you do if both the numbers are the same? If both the numbers are the same, just circle the first one and then do the same process. You put the dots on this two and you count two, three, four. Sometimes the big number is not the first number. Please write on your board two plus eight. Now before when we practiced, the big number was always the first number. But here, 8 is the big number and it's the second number listed. And that's okay. Go ahead and circle 8 and you're going to do the same thing. It's just instead of touching the first number, you'll just touch the second number. So we're going to say 8, 9, 10. So it really doesn't matter what order they're in. So just a quick review, sometimes when the two numbers are the same, you'll just circle the first number and count 2, 3, 4. Sometimes the big number is the second number, and you just circle the second number and do 8, 9, 10. It's still the same process. Go ahead and clear your board. Next we're going to practice a few subtraction problems. I'd like you to write on your board 6 minus Two. We're going to circle our big number, which is 6, and put our dots on our 2. Remember, we're not counting up, we're counting down. We're going to touch and say 6, 5, 4. Nice job. I'm going to give you the next problem. I'd like you to try this one on your own. 9 minus Two. Go ahead and try that one on your own. Sometimes we might make a mistake, and that's okay. We learn from our mistakes. Sometimes a kid might say 9, 10, 11. The mistake they made is that they counted up instead of down. This is a minus sign, so we got to count backwards. So the answer isn't 11. I'm going to write the problem again. Circle the 9, and instead of saying 9, 10, we got to count backwards. 9, 8, 7. Nice job. We're going to try one more. Now this one might seem a little tricky because that's a two-digit number. A two-digit number means there's two numbers instead of just one. This number 11 is still the biggest number, so we would circle the whole number. And you're just going to count backwards just like you were. 11, 10, 9. Nice job. Now in today's extra work, there's a lot more practice with adding and subtracting. Go ahead and clear your board. And we're going to review some two-digit numbers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write a number on here. So this is the number I wrote, and you would say out loud, 26. I'm going to write another one. Let's see if you can read this one. 
41. Nice job. How about this one? That number says 68. We're going to do one more. That one says 82. I wonder how many did you get right? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you a number and I'd like you to write that one on your board. I'd like you to write the number 36. 36. 36 has a 3 and then a 6 for 36. Nice job. Get ready. Here's your next one. 94. 94. That one has a 9 and then a 4 for 94. Nice job. We've got two more. Your next one is going to be 52. 52. When I say 50, that means it starts with a 5. 50. Two. Nice job. We're going to do one more. 78. 78. 78 is a 7 and then an 8. Nice job. Thank you so much for all your hard work and attention today. Don't forget to download the extra practice to practice all these skills again today, and I'll see you tomorrow.